Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Garrett here and we are back today in Scrap Mechanic and today uh, you might have noticed that um, I've been away for a, a while. It's been over a week and that's just because my last week has been an absolute hectic week. You guys have no clue I was gone. Uh, probably six out of the 12 hours of the day and then the other 12 or the other six I was doing school so yeah it was pretty hectic all week so I wasn't able to record but since I was away Axelot Games came out with an announcement that was saying they're gonna release a game called Raft and basically that's a game where you uh, try to make a raft and survive from a shark and so for the raft people they get the scrap mechanic uh, where's the ducky there's a duck. There we go. So, people in Raft, if they can catch this duck, they can decorate their Raft with that to symbolize Scrap Mechanic. And then for us Scrap Mechanic people, we get this block, which is pretty cool. It is called the Raft Shark Mount. And so, this is our block for, uh, so, yeah, this is what we get, is this deal. Get it the right way. So it's actually interactive. It makes sound like a tote bot head, and I think it was it was Con Gaming, I believe, uh, who did this thing where you can hook it up to a timer and make it sound like the Jaws theme song. So let me grab a timer here. You guys know I'm absolutely terrible with logic, so I gotta find. Where's my? Where's the timer? Oh, I'll search it. There we go. This is by uh, Rebellos, by the way. I use it a lot. Okay. Alrighty. Hook that up to there. And we'll put it every one second and see how that goes. So you make these... You, you can hear... Turn up the volume. So you guys can hear that. You guys can hear that sound. Every time the shark moves, it makes that sound. So, Con Gaming turned it into the Jaws theme song. Let me see if I can find that right. No. Three ticks. No. Four ticks. There it is. So that's five ticks right there. Now let me turn the volume down. This thing's getting way too loud now. You know what? I'll kill it. It's, well, no, nah, never mind. <clears throat> Turning down volume more. Anyway, you get the idea of the raft shark mount. So it just makes that sound, and then you can. I'll just shut it off. But yeah, you can use it, it says raft, you can use it to decorate your workshop or what have you. But um, yeah, that's the deal with updates in Scrap Mechanic. So I'll delete this. So since I've been away, I have periodically gotten on Steam and seen what's at the top of the workshop or whatever. And I did get some pretty cool stuff. This first one is called Tower Defense and it's by Horizon 25. You might recognize him because he made this automatic H25 gun, which I absolutely love. Um, I don't think I ever showcased it, but it's really cool. So this one's called Tower Defense. So we will weld it here. No. There we go. All right. So supposedly this thing you, is a tower or whatever, and it, you use it to defend your base or something. So here we go. Why is it not firing? Okay, it turns. That's great. I don't care if it turns. If it can't fire, where? how do you fire it? Tell me. Guys, you hit one? I'm hitting one. What? What's the issue? Let's read the instructions, maybe. What? 
Let me search it on the workshop and see if that pulls anything interesting up. Okay. Weapons. Why? Dang it. Uh, Fire 5 rocket. No, no, no. This is not... Uh, why is this not working? Something is not working. Something is obviously not working. Um, Horizon? Your creation is not working in the slightest. It'll move around, but nothing else. Come on. Um, what else am I supposed to do? Um, huh, where's the one button? Okay, that connects to, okay, I'm not even going to try to decipher the logic in that. Let's try again. Maybe this one was just a dud. Oh, delete, I say. Okay, you know what? Delete. Delete. Now my dog's barking, if you can hear that in the background. I don't know what he's barking at, but he's barking. Okay, let's try this again. Aha! Maybe that's what it was. Gotta hit the switch. Boy, if that was all that it was, that I'm, that makes me feel like a dummy. Okay, delete. Okay. Haha! -ha, there we go, guys! <laughs> and it makes that really weird Gatling gun sound. Ha! Cool, we got it to work. Okay, that's that's all it was. So I'll just shut that off. And then to fire the next uh, clip, obviously, I didn't even read the instructions, so this is pretty self-explanatory. Grab this clip and weld it to that red block. Just like that. Jump. Ah, yeah, yeah. Jump back up here. And delete these blocks. Caution blocks. Go down here. Alright. Ready? Aim. Fire! Poof. 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 That's pretty good for using pistons, also, I must say. But anyway, that's going to do it for this segment of the episode. I'm going to delete this and come back with another nice creation. Alrighty, guys, the last and final creation for this episode is a B2 Spirit Bomber, and uh, I've showcased one of these in the past. It was made by Moonbow, and... So that was a cool plane, but I think this one looks cooler. It is built in miniature because if you've ever seen a B-2 bomber uh, before or seen a picture of one, you'll also, you'll also know that it is pretty huge. The wingspan is pretty wide, and so we built it uh, miniature, which is pretty realistic, or is, is a realistic thing to do in this game because the bigger you get, the, uh, the more laggy you get. And so it's also worth mentioning that this requires the Durf mod pack and the Grego mod. I assume he's using those from the download files that you can get on each of their channels. Um, but I just use the ones off the workshop. They work just fine. But I set up some custom controls. I assigned 1, 2, 3, and 4 to... Uh, I assigned 1 to J, 2 to U, uh, 3 to H, and 4 to K. And that's just because, as you probably all know, I'm a terrible pilot, and so I need a little help when it comes to piloting. So, I think, what was the bomb bay door? Ah, oh, whatever. So, the green block is an invisible seat, which is good, 
because you want to make this thing look as thin as possible. So I'm going to open the top thing here and what that does is op it opens up an area for you to delete the blocks on the bombs. And so, just like the plane, those are in miniature. There we go. Alrighty, so let's take to the skies. Number five is your main lift. So we'll get that going, point up, and then up we go. And hit six, and that points up your landing gear. One observation I did make while doing some test flying of this thing, it does, when you're flying like this, it does like to constantly tilt either forward or back. I think it's it always tilts backward. So it's kind of hard to uh, fly in that regard. You're constantly pressing the nose or the pitch down key. Also, another thing you might see is that when you turn, it's ridiculously fast. And so that also makes it kind of hard to do, but it looks phenomenal. So let's drop, see and drop if we can drop the bombs here. So I believe that's the seven key. Yep, there they go. So that worked pretty well. Where'd they end up going? Ah, oh, there they are. And they hit the ground. Cool. Okay, let's gain control again. Haha. -ha. So super thin, just like the real B2 bomber. Has those really cool looking jets in the back. I'm, ass I'm assuming they're from the Durf mod pack um, because that's one of the only mods here. But yeah, those, those look super cool. I'll turn onto this straightaway over here. Turn to the next side of the world. Jeez, this thing is so sensitive. Jeez, point down. Okay. So we will put the landing gear down. Nose dive. No. Oh, crud. I'm losing control. Another happy landing. Well, that wasn't the most smooth land, uh, smoothest landing ever. Oh well. Oh, look at that. It's pivoting. It'd be a great basketball player. It's pivoting on one. F or it's pivoting on a on one axis. <laughs> that just goes to show how sensitive this steering is. He's got two suspension glitches. Why couldn't you just put one in the middle? I mean, sorry to bag on your creation. It looks phenomenal. But why couldn't you just put one in the center and then it would be less powerful? Or why... Also, you've got these things, by the way, in your arsenal uh, from the Durf Mod Pack. They are called... Where are they? They're called... Where? Where, 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 where are they? They're called Micro Thrusters. Thruster Blocks. They're a thruster that is tiny. You can use those to turn. Those That would make it so much slower and much more realistic. But it looks cool overall. Actually, did I mention it was this? This is made, this is made by Dabaro, by the way. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like because it really helps out my channel a lot. And if you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to keep up to date with all of the awesome content coming out on my channel every single day. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, I'll see you later. Goodbye.